Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Swanha White with Integra Health in Temecula, California. I'm a board certified pulmonologist, critical care physician, and sleep medicine specialist. Today I'm going to discuss a procedure called EBIS, which can be used to diagnose lung cancer. So let's start with what is EBIS? EBIS stands for endobronchial ultrasound, a minimally invasive but highly effective procedure used to diagnose lung cancer, infections, and other diseases causing enlarged lymph nodes in the chest. EBIS allows me to perform a technique known as transbronchial needle aspiration to obtain tissue or fluid samples from the lungs and surrounding lymph nodes without conventional surgery. The samples can be used for diagnosing and staging lung cancer, detecting infections, and identifying inflammatory diseases that affect the lungs, such as sarcoidosis or cancers like lymphoma. So how is EBIS done? EBIS is generally performed by a pulmonologist, a physician who specializes in the lungs. I first insert a special bronchoscope, which is a long, narrowed, lighted tube with a small camera, through the patient's mouth and trachea into the bronchii, which are the two main airways that branch off of the trachea. The bronchoscope is fitted with an ultrasound and a fine gauge aspiration needle. An ultrasound monitor displays real-time images of your airway, blood vessels, lungs, and nearby lymph nodes to guide me to the right location. I then push the needle through the bronchial wall from inside to take samples of cells from the lymph nodes or other tissues in the area between the lungs called the mediastinum. The samples can be examined to diagnose lung cancer or other diseases. So what makes EBIS different? The conventional surgical way to get samples from your mediastinum is to make a small incision in your neck just above or next to your breastbone. Then the surgeon insert a narrow scope through the incision to see your lungs and surrounding lymph nodes and obtain a tissue sample. With EBIS, no incisions are needed. So what are some of the indications for EBIS? Number one, it can be used to stage non-small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer that has not spread outside of the thorax is staged based on spread to mediastinal or hilar lymph nodes. Biopsy of these nodes is necessary to determine the stage of a patient's lung cancer. It can be a difference between stage 2 or 3 based on whether the lymph nodes is positive for cancer. Number two, it can be used for evaluation of mediastinal lesions, intrapulmonary nodules, and endobronchial lesions. EBIS allows me to visualize, sample, and diagnose various mediastinal abnormalities, including sarcoidosis and lymphoma. EBIS can visualize and allow sampling of pulmonary nodules that are not visualized by fluoroscopy and may avoid the need for surgical procedures. And lastly, EBIS can be used as guidance of endobronchial therapy. EBIS can provide useful additional information during interventions such as resection of endobronchial lesions, stricture dilation, stenting, laser therapy, and argon plasma coagulation. So what are the benefits of EBIS? It provides real-time imaging of the surface of the airways, blood vessels, lungs, and lymph nodes. The improved images allow me to easily view difficult-to-reach areas and to access more and smaller lymph nodes for biopsy with the aspiration needle than through conventional surgery. The accuracy and speed of the EBIS bronchoscope allows me immediate evaluation of tissue samples by a pathologist. As I am obtaining these samples, a pathologist present in the operating room can process and examine them via a microscope to check for abnormalities and can request additional samples to be taken immediately if needed. So what should a patient expect prior to and after the procedure? EBIS is an outpatient procedure, which means the patient usually goes home the same day. If a patient takes any blood thinners, the patient may be instructed to hold medication for an appropriate amount of time as these medications may cause increased bleeding with a biopsy. EBIS is performed under moderate sedation or general anesthesia, thus you will need to fast six to eight hours prior to the procedure. Procedure generally takes between 30 minutes to an hour. There's usually no pain after the biopsy because there are very few pain receptors in the airway or the lungs. Patient recover quickly and can usually return to normal activities within 24 hours. 
patient may experience intermittent coughing 24 to 48 hours after the procedure due to irritation of vocal cord and airway and may even cough up small amount of blood tinged sputum. This is all normal but should be monitored and reported if not resolved within two to three days. If you recently had chest imaging that showed pulmonary nodules or enlarged lymph nodes and need further evaluation, our team here at Integra Health is happy to answer any questions you may have. Visit us at IntegraHealthPC.com to learn more.